Hello everyone, welcome back to Odo 14 development tutorial. We were discussing about the on change. We used a method decorator called uh, API dot on change to handle the on change mechanism. In this video, we are going to discuss about the constraints model constraints so you know what is model constraints uh, in case if you want to set any uh, constraints on any uh, business object or model you have to use the model constraints so odo provides two methods to uh, do this job one is called python constraints and another is called sql constraints in this video, uh, we are discussing about Python constraint. The next video, we will go through the SQL constraint. So, let's go to the Python constraints. So, uh, for Python constraints, we use the one another model decorator. It's called constraints, just like uh, the on change that we use with API dot on change, just like that. This one we use uh, one called api dot constraints so uh, when you say constraints uh, it is uh, the last it's without a t okay so this is the constraint api dot uh, constraints here you don't have the t so just like this one uh, the on change we uh, give the field names here just like that we give the uh, fields we can specify the fields uh, those are in uh, involved in the in this constraints and uh, uh, one thing that you have to uh, keep in mind is we can only use the simple fields you cannot use the dot fields just like the on change method so that's the one thing that you have to keep in mind and uh, whenever you make a change you whenever you modify the values of these two fields that is specified inside this constraint uh, system will automatically evaluate uh, the function that will write behind that so uh, it will uh, throw a validation error so it will raise a, val raise a validation error. So uh, that's how uh, that's the structure of a model uh, Python constraints. So what we are uh, doing in our Open Academy module is we are creating a constraint. We are adding a constraint to our session object, Open Academy session object. So in this Open Academy session object. we add uh, we put the instructor for and uh, we add attendee ids for a session so we may put uh, the instructor in attendees ids also because we use the uh, restored partner module for both so the instructor is also taken from the restored partner and an attendee is also uh, stored in the restored partner model. So we there is a chance that we accidentally put uh, the uh, instructor under the uh, attendee IDs. We can select that till now. So what we are doing is we are putting a constraints that we cannot assign. We cannot add the instructor of a session as the attendee of the session. So uh, that's what we are going to do. So here we put in the API dot constraints we put the instructor ID and attendee IDs and then uh, for each item uh, the instructor ID we take the instructor ID then instructor, uh, we check that the attendees is it in the attendee IDs. So 
if only there is an instructor id given then uh, it will work and then the, uh, the instructor id is in the attendee ids system will throw an exception validation error sessions instructor can't be an attendee so this is what we are added now uh, you can see then this exception have a red underline so that means uh, it is not um, defined here in this file so we have to add this exception here exceptions so uh, now it's all set now we can uh, restart the service then let's go to our open academy okay we haven't upgraded the module so let's go to the okay no issues so far let's go to the open academy sessions so this is the as instructor that we already give so i can add brendan freeman i can add the pro addict now let's try saving them no problem now let's try adding azure ad here let's try saving you see a session since we can't be an attendee so a uh, system automatically blocks that uh, that entry okay so this is the uh, one kind of constructor uh, sorry uh, constraints that we can uh, use in odoo and i hope you get how we can add the constructor so uh, as a briefing uh, we use the api dot constraints api dot constraints uh, model decorator for handling this uh, this constraint python constraint and uh, uh, the next thing that you have to keep in mind is uh, we can uh, we can only use the symbol fields not the dotted fields and uh, uh, another point that we you uh, that we have to keep in mind is this uh, constraints will be uh, triggered only if uh, the declared fields are in the uh, we uh, decorated method are included in our create or write method so uh, the modification happens when uh, we create a new uh, the constraints will be triggered only when you create or write happens to that model and the the fields that you specified for that constraint the decorator instead of the decorator uh, is included in that uh, data set so uh, that's the uh, python constraints i hope you uh, understand the working and uh, how you can add the constraint so we will discuss about the sql constraint in the next video thanks for watching if you have any doubts please use the comment section put your doubts there and we will happily uh, try our best to, to answer your queries thanks for watching